Hello everyone. This video we're going to learn all we need to know about 800 meters ultra long distance PLE switch. 800 meters. You must be wondering, didn't I used to say 100 meter is the limit for transmissions? Well, in this case, yeah, the IEA 02.3 does limit our transitions to 100 meters. If you go over 100 meters, power loss, signal decay, but there is a special chipset integrated in some devices or some PoE switches which can boost the signal and power all the way up to 800 meters. Although, because it was, it's like a boosted, it's like a port way, there's two ways, we have to use a PoE extender on the edge device. Like right in front of the edge device, that has to go here so it can receive the data and then feed it to hit him. Once the device wants to transmission some, power, uh, some data back, this has the chipset as well and it helps to create the port way to go back to the PoE switch. You can imagine it's like all those uh, space movies we watch. It's like those intergalactic port ways. There's two ways, so it has to remember this is very crucial for this connection as well. And also, this extender is very special because you can see there's no place for power sources, so it's independent when it's connecting to the edge device. It doesn't need anything else. All it do is connect these two Ethernet cables and it has, needs no power. So it's very convenient, it's easy to operate as well. I'll connect it later for you guys to see. And then let's take a look at an ultra long PoE switch which has the chipset I uh, said inside. The chipset is built inside like I recommend. So these four ports right here which have a green dot highlighted are the ultra long distance ports. These ones can up, uh, can up, uh, these ports can transmit the power and data up to 800 meters. How, why can they do that? I'll talk to you guys later. These four ports over here are just regular PoE ports up to 100 meters and the bandwidth is better. And these two right here are uplink ports. They can go all the way to a thousand megabytes, megabits per second. So now that's our PoE switch. And also, like all the PoE switches we have, we have the power supply integrated. So all we have to do is easily connect it to an alternating current source. Pretty simple. Okay, now we have an 800 meter, oh no, now we have a 300 meter cable right here. This 300 meter cable, we're gonna use it to connect it to our PoE switch and our panel tilt zoom camera. Why 300 meters? Cause 300 meter is the most common, no, commonly sold ethernet cable on the market. If it goes more than 300 meters, they don't sell anymore. That's because when the ethernet cable reaches 300 meters, the bandwidth kind of drops. When it's uh, within 300 meters, the bandwidth stays like in 100. But once we go up to 800, the bandwidth drops to 10 megabits per second. So only like it can only supply one camera in this case. That's why the 800 meter is kind of rare. So 300 meter is like the most common and most reasonable limit for Ethernet cables. So today we're going to use 300 meters. So we're going to plug this Ethernet cable, this end, to the ultra long distance PoE switch port. And this one, remember, we have to use this extender first. There, you know why there's, we have to twist this off? Because these two are plugs which can help us make this extender waterproof. And imagine you're placing this 800 meters outside your house. That's gonna be like in the wild. And there's rain, there's dust. These two are all things that can compromise our device because there's a chipset inside. So we don't want that. And this is all rated six, IP67, so waterproof, dustproof, very important to our device. So the import goes to the other end of the 300 meter ethernet cable. And then, we use another regular ethernet cable and connect it to the output. Then, 
this should be able to connect with the panel tilt zoom camera. Once I plug it in, it should be self-checking itself shortly. See, it's operating. It means power and data is going through and reach to here. And yeah, he says he's functional. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys have any more questions, please post them at the section below. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.